What is up? My name is Sam and I got the perfect UFC 295 card, main card for you. As of now, we only got one fight officially booked for that card. We have John Jones versus Stipe for the World Heavyweight Championship. But we're going to go from the first fight of the main card. And we're doing the main card only. Five fights. We're going to go off with the first fight here. And here, what I got so far is Patty Pimlet versus Matt Frivola, the Steam Roller. Here, we got an exciting electric fight. Both guys with knockout power. Both electric up-and-coming guys in the lightweight division here it all it only all matters to where if how how um patty pimlet how because i know he's doing he's injured right now he had surgery i believe in his ankle it just depends how healthy he is and how he can come back because i know this this card is not till like september maybe close to october so september maybe november i'm not sure no, it's close. It's closer to October, so I mean that could be maybe enough time for a camp and for him. You know, he's already had the surgery, so hopefully he's healthy. And this is the first card I would start off with, and the second fight of this card, of the perfect card, I have Hamzov Chemaev moving up to the middleweight with his official first fight versus the killer gorilla Jared Cannonier. and this is the perfect fight right here for Hamza here. You measure how he would be against Izzy if he just dominates against Jared Cannonier, which I don't really see that. I think he he would beat him, but I would see a very, very competitive fight and just kind of see where he lands and see how a fight versus him and versus Izzy would go. And I think this is the perfect fight because you can't go against Robert Whitaker, who just faced a loss. And that would be two, if that could be potentially two losses in a row for Robert Whitaker, that would be really bad. Another one that could be is Marvin Vittori. I think that's another one, another big wrestler. But I think um, Kennedy is the perfect fighter because he's more all around. And he also beat Vittori also not that long ago. And the, another fight that I would enjoy, but I'd, I it would be like third or second behind Cannonier would be Sean Strickland just because of the press conference, just because of the shit talking, just because of all that. And I think, but here my favorite fight and what I have right here, Hamzov Chamayev versus Jared Cannonier. And this third fight, we, I'm going to give you a spoiler. We are going to have three title fights in this one. What perf like a perfect card, three title fights, of course. And here, for the interim light heavyweight belt, as you know, um, Jamal Hill did suffer a torn Achilles. Prayers to him. Hopefully he has a speedy recovery, and he said he will be out for a while. Two situations here this can go, but here's my favorite situation for the interim belt. Yuri Prohaska versus Ankalaev. I think his first name is pronounced Magomedov. I just say Ankalaev because that's, you know, it's, uh, it's easier to say that way. But Yuri Prohaska versus Ankalaev for the interim championship belt i would have this as a co co fight co main fight but since this is an interim belt i would this is why this is a third fight so you can either have this gear pasca or in two, ufc 291 whereas alex pajeda versus jan blakowicz the winner of that fight versus Yuri Pahaska in UFC 295 but I don't know that would be kind of close call a close fight depends even how that because that fight right there could even be a war itself you know someone can get hurt you know they're just you know it's just too too quick of a turnaround especially for being such bigger guys and having to throw down more but I, I like this this option here Yuri Pahaska versus Uncle Live who who arguably who I think beat Jan Blakowicz in that draw which was ridiculous that it was a draw and I mean, Ankalaev should be, quote-unquote, the champ right now because I think he did beat Jan Blakovic in that. So here, he gets a shot at it again. Yuri Prohaska versus Ankalaev. And here, for the co-main events, we finally get it for the welterweight. Leon Rocky Edwards versus Colby Covington. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be a toxic press conference, you know, from Hamzov to Colby to Patty to, you know, Steamroller. And even John Jones this is going to be a very, very entertaining press conference. Weigh-ins, everything is going to be, everything's going to be entertaining. Leon Edwards, Colby Covington, a lot, a lot of mess, a lot of shit talking here and there. You're going to have Bilal Muhammad in the in the crowd, you know, you're going to have Usman there in the crowd. Everyone's going to be, um, Masvidal, even though he retired, he's going to be in the crowd. He's, he's probably going to try to corner Leon. I don't know. He's got beef with Leon too, but I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to corner with Leon, you know, squash the beef for a little bit just to mess with Colby Covington's head. I mean, 
I would want to take Leon in this fight, but I wouldn't know who I would take because this is because Leon is or Kobe Covington is a great wrestler, and I mean he is he's been competitive. Yes, he has lost all the big fights he has except against Masvidal, and he did lose to Usman. And I mean this would be a good competitive fight, and I have this one as a co-main event because of course the main event: John Jones versus Stipe. Goat versus Goat, Goat of the heavyweight and the Goat of all time for the heavyweight championship. And this is a potential retirement fight for these two, so that's even more of a level right here. So Dana White, I mean, you can sign me a check if you want, but this is right here the perfect card for UFC 295. And I'll say it again. Starting off the card, Patty Pimlet versus Matt Frivola. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Hamzov Chinmayev versus Jerry Cannonier. And then Yuri Pahaska versus Ankalaev. And then for the co-main event, Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington for the welterweight. I'm sorry, Yuri Pasca and Ankalaya for the interim um, light heavyweight belt. And then, of course, for the main event in my Bruce Buffer accent voice, John Jones versus Stipe for the heavyweight championship of the world. Comment down below what do you think of this fight and what would you change? I mean, not much because this is the perfect UFC card, personally, what I think. So make sure you comment down subscribe we are on the road to 500 subscribers we're about 150 right now so we have a lot more to go so make sure you hit that subscribe like and we'll see you next time